We're on a climate journey from the snow-capped peaks of the Andes all the way down to the Amazon rainforest. We've come with Oxfam to see just what are the effects of climate change and how they are impacting on people in Latin America. As we go down the mountain, we'll see how people are trying to adapt to what scientists say will be the greatest challenge of the world. This is Cayembe Mountain, right on the equator line in Ecuador. Everything you see behind me, this vast valley, only 30 years ago, was filled with an enormous glacier. In one generation, it has lost 40% of its mass. This is happening all over the Andes, in Peru, in Ecuador, in Bolivia and Colombia. The glaciers are retreating. Here at 5,000 metres, glaciologist Bolivar Ceceres says that if temperatures rise just one degree, all the small glaciers will disappear in a generation. Si el clima if the climate change is drastic, if temperatures continue increasing, the glaciers will recede faster. We have done some modeling and we believe that by the year 2040, the glacial line will be around 5,100 meters. The speed of the glacier retreat has shocked scientists. Here at 4,000 meters, all the ecosystems are changing. People say that the seasons are different and that the weather is more extreme. Glaciers regulate temperature and now there is far less rainfall. Scientists can't be sure whether these local changes are part of the global phenomenon of human-caused climate change, but on the ground they are having a massive effect. Vincenta Morales is experiencing deep killing frosts, which destroy all her crops and kill her animals. It's not like it was before. The animals used to be healthy. Now they get sick. They get diarrhea, for example. They simply get sick and die. The melting glaciers of the Andes provide water for crops, drinking water and electricity for the big cities of Colombia, Peru, Chile, Venezuela, Bolivia and here in Ecuador. But people will have to adapt to the changes.